You know, it's, it's a great point. Uh, let me, I'll share something that's actually, that's actually not in the book, which is um, I blame the publisher, not us, because like they had a deadline and we had to finish. And like, so we, we were still going through the data after we sent the manuscript in and we discovered something pretty interesting. We had a lot of questions from folks about, you know, what techniques are useful to identify a decision. And I think the one, uh, Tom, is exactly what you said, which is engaging in really good active listening. And I think also recognizing that sometimes the things customers are asking for saying you might think are good things, like I want another demo with the same team we've seen in the past five demos. I want another reference call. I want to do another POC in another part of the business, you know, to, to continue to collect data and build the business case. Like that feels good to some sellers. Like I, cool, I have something to put in the CRM system. I have something to tell my manager when we have our next pipeline review that, oh no, 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 like we've got another call coming up. We've got another demo, another reference call, you know, and it feels like we're making progress. But in fact, many of those things are masking underlying fear of failure and indecision and are actually a bad thing, not a good thing. So I think it's like tuning our listening for signs of indecision, as you said. Now, especially as I mentioned before, senior executives are going to be very loath to um, to admit that they are scared of getting fired or they're scared of how they're going to look. They, they don't talk about that. Stuff. In fact, I'll tell you guys, I did a dinner with um, some senior execs not too long ago. CTO of one of the world's biggest manufacturers stormed out of the dinner after I did the presentation because she was so offended at the suggestion that people like her were afraid of failure. And she said, I make a hundred decisions a day that I would get fired if I was worried about screwing up. Like that is, that's not how I got my job. Like I got to go. As soon as she left and the, and the rest of the clients cleared out, the technology company that was hosting the meeting, uh, they were her, she was their client, told me she's the most indecisive buyer they have. So, you know, so look, it's, it's something, it's uncomfortable talking about it. So how do you get it on the table? 